When to use have, having, and have got from EspressoEnglish.net. When the word have is used as a verb for possession, it can't be used in the present continuous. For example, you can't say, they're having a new car. The correct form is, they have a new car. Don't say, I'm having a lot of work to do. You must say, I have a lot of work to do. However, in certain expressions, have can be used in the present continuous form. For example, you can say, I'm having a good time, and we're having a meeting at 4 p.m. There's also the question of have versus have got. Have and have got are the same when talking about possessions, illnesses, relationships, and characteristics of people. Have got is just a more informal way to say it. For example, you can say, I have a lot of work to do, or I've got a lot of work to do. We usually use the short form. Instead of saying, I have got a lot of work, we say, I've got a lot of work. You can say, she has two sisters, or she's got two sisters. He has a sore throat, or he's got a sore throat. They both have black hair, or they've both got black hair. However, there are some situations where you can't use have got. For example, you can't say, you'll have got fun at the party. You must use have, you'll have fun at the party. Don't say, I've always got breakfast at 8. The correct phrase is, I always have breakfast at 8. So, here are 15 English expressions with the word have and whether or not you can use having in the present continuous or have got. Number 1. Have a look at something. You can use having but not have got. For example, Let's have a look at the facts in this case. We're having a look at your proposal as we speak. Having a look at something is the same as taking a look at something. Number two, have a talk with someone or have a chat with someone. You can use having in the present continuous but not have got. She interrupted me while I was having a talk with my boss. Bob is over there. He's having a chat with Laura. Number three, have a meeting. You can use having in the present continuous and have got. Have got is only used for when the meeting is scheduled in the future. For example, the marketing department is having a meeting right now. I'm really busy today. I've got three meetings later this afternoon. Number four, have an appointment. With have an appointment, you can't use having, but you can use have got. For example, do you have an appointment? We've got an appointment to see the dentist at 1030. Number five, have fun have a good time, and have a blast. With all three of these expressions, you can use having, but you can't use have got. Here are some examples. Have a good time at the park. The kids are having fun with their new toys. We're at the circus right now. We're having a blast. Number six, have a party. You can use having, but not have got. Let's have a party to celebrate the end of the school year. We're having a party at our house on Friday night. You can also say throwing a party. Both having and throwing a party mean that you are the one organizing the party. Number seven, have a baby. You can use having, but not have got. For example, I'd like to have the baby at home. Call a doctor, quick! My wife's having the baby. This means she is in the process of giving birth right now. 
Here's some big news. I'm having twins. This means the twin babies will be born in the future. We are using the present continuous for something that will happen in the future. Number eight, have children, have brothers, and have sisters. You can't use having, but you can use have got. For example, do you have any brothers or sisters is the same as have you got any brothers or sisters? I've got two older brothers and one younger sister. We've got four children, or we have four children. Number nine, have a problem. You can say having a problem or have got a problem. Both are correct. For example, I'm having problems connecting my printer to my computer. We made a mistake in the article, and now we've got a big problem. Number 10, have difficulty and have trouble. With these words, you can use having but not have got. For example, I'm having difficulty understanding this English lesson. Are you having trouble breathing? Number 11, have a good day or have a bad day. You can use having but not have got. For example, I hope you're having a good day. Ugh, I'm having the worst day of my life. Number 12. Have breakfast, lunch, dinner, coffee, a drink, or a sandwich. You can use having but not have got. For example, I'm having lunch with my coworkers. Everyone's in the cafeteria. They're all having coffee. Number 13. Have surgery or have an operation. You can use having but not have got. For example, Danny is having heart surgery right now. We're waiting for news from the doctors. I'll be having knee surgery on the 27th. Number 14. Have a headache, sore throat, cold, or the flu. You can't use having, but you can use have got. For example, I need to lay down. I've got a headache. My husband's got a bad cold. Number 15. Have an effect, have an influence, or have an impact. You can use having, but not have got. For example, the medication is definitely having an effect on the disease. These new laws are having a major impact on the crime rate. English grammar can be confusing. Every rule seems to have exceptions and special cases. I believe that the best way to learn grammar and remember it is to put it into practice. It's helpful to take quizzes and do exercises, but it's even better to try to use the grammar yourself while speaking or writing. In the Advanced English Grammar course, you can send me your writing samples and get feedback and correction. It's a great way to confirm that you're using the grammar correctly. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for Advanced English Grammar.